the event is Luminaria Dei Abo, and it is on December 7th. Uh, we'll have a Mass, and the Mass is sponsored by St. Alice Church in Mountaineer. Uh, Father Obi Jesse is going to be uh, leading that Mass. That will be from 4 to 5, and then there will be a, a, a brief pause as we set up, and then the Luminaria event proper is going to be from 5.30 to 8. And it's going to be a, a really nice event. We'll have luminarias. They're going to be highlighting the contours of this beautiful mission behind me. Uh, there will be posada pinatas for the kids. Uh, there will be live music. And we'll have some light refreshments, tamales, biscuitos, cider, coffee, tea, stuff like that. We're hoping for good weather, but that is, is not anything we can control. But it will be chilly. And of course, we're, we're going to stay here until dusk and after dusk. Uh, so dress warm. Make sure that you, uh, you are dressed warmly. This is a, a, a pretty high elevation here, uh, especially when the sun goes down, it does get cold. Um, so layers are good. Just uh, come with a bunch of layers and put them on, take them off as, as necessary. Uh, we are just off Highway 60. We are nine miles west of Mountain Air. So if you start off in Mountain Air and head nine miles west on Highway 60 and look for New Mexico 513, you turn out to New Mexico 513, you go north about half a mile, and that's where we are. Yeah, come on out. Uh, this is going to be a beautiful event. This is a, a gorgeous site, and uh, being able to be here for a mass and or for the Luminary event, that's just a really unique opportunity. If you are interested in bringing dogs, uh, dogs are welcome as long as they are kept on leash and picked up afterwards. So Salinas Pueblo Missions National Monument was established in 1980 in order to set apart and preserve for the benefit and enjoyment of American people um, the ruins of prehistoric Indian Pueblos and the associated 17th century Franciscan Spanish Mission ruins. So within our monument we have three beautiful sites, Abo, Quaray, and Gran Quivira. And today we're standing here in Abo. And at each of our sites, like I said, we've got these 17th century Franciscan Spanish Mission ruins. So that will consist of the church. Um, this church here at Abo was started in 1622. It will also consist of other buildings that we're standing inside. So right here, we're standing inside this convento. And this is where the priests lived and conducted church business. So there's a whole series of rooms in this convento. Some are the residential rooms. Um, You'll be able to see it right behind me. There's a kitchen. Um, we've got lots of storage, dining room. And then, interestingly enough, two of our three sites have kivas within the convento. So there's a question as to how those kivas were actually used. Were they actually ever used ceremonially as part of initial conversion efforts? Or were they just used as examples? And in the 1660s, that's when there was a change in church policy. The priests cracked down on the Puebloan religion. Um, they burned the roof of this kiva, if it had one at one point, and they desecrated it. So these sites preserve the um, evidence of the interactions between the Indians and the early Europeans in the 17th century. So before coming down, we definitely encourage you to check out our website. We've got a nice website for Salinas Pueblo Missions National Monument, which will give you some background on the different people, the three different sites. Um, when you come down to the monument, each site has its own visitor center. And the visitor centers are open nine till five, seven days a week. Um, and we're pretty much open uh, 365 days of the year, except for Christmas, uh, New Year's, and Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. Headquarters in Mountain Air is open from 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. And at Mount, in Mountain Air, there aren't any ruins like this, but there is a really nice 14 minute video that talks about all three sites. And there's a nice museum as well.
had your nails done, huh? Yeah. I haven't had my nails done since I moved here. It's been liberating, hasn't it? <laughs> You're doing too good. I know, right? I, I, I taught him well. Timing is everything. We'll do a few hundred more. Yeah. Doesn't have a lot of rock in it. I mean, it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference, but it, it's not as clean out. Mm -hmm. Not like so. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Probably. One of those ears in a bit. Mm -hmm. All nice and glowy. Kind of uh, moonlight after it's dark. You know, so it's like having to wait until after our event's over before we get any moonlight.
team. Oops, that's good. Just imagine how it's going to work. A thousand. 